Here we go, airborne, awesome. The 0603, the world's smallest rustless motor, commercially available. I made it fly, and here we go. Now the battery I'm using right now is 150 milliamp hours. It's not a very good battery, um, and which is why I'm almost uh, landing again. And um, I got all the issues as well with the design. I'll take you through those um, in a second. But overall, I'm really pleased with the fact that I can actually fly it. After this video was recorded, I started using 200 milliamp hours and then I could fly for several minutes. <laughs> so this, this issue you're seeing here is because of a bad battery. Anyways, let's look at the details. All right, here we go. And here's the star of the show, the 0603 brushless motor, the smallest brushless motor in the world, commercially available, that is. And I made it fly on my RC airplane. It took off, it flew. Awesome. Really pleased with that fact. But it's not all rainbows and unicorns and butterflies. I've got issues with my design. Um, I'll, show you, um, I'll show you in a second. Um, because I've had to reduce some weight, or I figured I, I had to reduce some weight, and I've done that, um, but I've also introduced some issues. But let, let's just uh, have a look at the, the details. So this is my second iteration, and the first iteration you can see in my first video. So I'm just going to go through the, the differences here. Same tail, same wing. Now, the fuselage is different. This is a 1.4 by 1.4 millimeter, still hollow carbon fiber rod. Weighs just 1.1 gram when cut down to 55 centimeters. So, huge reduction, about 4 grams in weight. The next place I've been able to save weight is on the 3D printed parts. I'm using lightweight PLA from Colorfab. And this is cool because this stuff expands uh, when heated up. So I've been able to reduce the filament flow to 50% and when printing at 235 degrees Celsius. So this means that they come out really, really light. I've also saved some, some weight just because I redesigned um, the front piece here. Because the 0603 and prop is way lighter than the 1103 from version 1, I needed to move the weight all the way to the front because the CG was uh, hard to, to get in, into the right spot. And this meant that I've, I've merged the servo and battery mount into the motor and the landing gear. So also I've you know, redesigned it, made it lighter and using some smaller wheels. So, um, but my motor mount has melted. And it has melted because this particular motor is, um, was broken when I got it. It was right out of the box. I could feel that it didn't run as smooth as, as I was expected. And when I tested it on the bench, I could hear it had a grinding sound and it was just generally too loud. And yeah, so after a couple of batteries, it just came so hot that sort of just, you know, came off. So that sucked. Um, but um, that's not really, I think, my, my design issue. It's, it's just, you know, a bad motor. But what is my problem, it's my fault, is because the fuse loss is so light, the whole thing flexes. And if I'm just going to move my right hand out of the picture here and keep it completely steady, I can just do this with my left hand. So, look at the tail. It's completely wobbly. And this also happens mid-flight. And when this happens, it really sucks uh, flying it. It's just, it's not completely uncontrollable, but it flies weird. So, it's, um, it's, um, yeah. It can, I can simply twist, twist the entire fuse last. So that's, that's a big issue. Um, so if I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna do a third iteration, I will have to address this issue because it's not really fun flying this when it has this behavior. Um, yeah, if you have ideas, please comment below. I'd like to hear them. My own, my, my first idea would be to just to use two carbon fiber rods. Of course, they will at least add 1.1 gram in, in fuse last, but also probably some, some, some increase in, uh, in the in the 3d printed parts but um yeah anyways i need to find a clever way to do it without gaining too much weight because this this definitely sucks um 
I don't feel like going back to three mil. That's kind of too big a step uh, in the wrong direction in terms of uh, weight wise. Um, but yeah, it it flies. I'm really pleased with that. It's um, it's um, been a great, another great fun project. And the challenge that I imposed on myself in my first version video, I did it. Mission accomplished. So that's pretty cool. Really pleased with that. But um, yeah, if you were, if you enjoyed this video, I um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and uh, comment on this design. I want to know what you guys think. So um, I can, um, if I'm gonna do a, a third version, I'll love to hear some ideas from you guys in terms of what my next step should be. All right, cheers.